Alright guys, due to popular demand on Facebook groups, today we're going to teach you how to clean your paint protection film around your wheel arches for your car. Alright guys, so to be fair, I did uh, completely clean these like a month ago, so they are still pretty clean. Um, but, so what I've done is, I didn't let my dad wash his car for over a month just so we could build up some grime on the edges of the border so I can make a demonstration for you guys. And uh, let's just give you guys a real close up look real quick of uh, what we're working with. All right, so like I said, probably not as bad as what you guys are working with, but still there's definitely some grime there. So now let's finally get into uh, the process involved with cleaning this grime on the border. So to clean this mess, guys, really all we're gonna need is one uh, tool, and that is automotive clay bar. So I got some non-brand automotive clay bar here from Amazon, which was I think like $5. And uh, if you want, you can also go out and get a Meguiar's clay bar kit, which comes with like quick detail spray, a little case for your clay, and uh, of course, Meguiar's branded clay. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't see a difference between the two, but uh, it's your money and uh, you can buy whatever you want. Uh, personally, if you really care about your car, I would just go out and buy like Mother's or Meguiar's branded clay, but uh, teach their own. Now, uh, if you know about clay bars, you can just tune out, you already know what to do. But if you don't, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you want to do is get this clay bar and tear off a piece of it. Get a decent sized piece, right? And uh, in case you're wondering, no, if you cannot just go and like get your little sister or daughter's uh, Play-Doh clay, it's not going to work. Uh, automotive clay is different than, uh, than Play-Doh clay. And what we're going to do here is uh, knead this clay and uh, we're going to make it wet, okay? And uh, we're just going to spray all around the border here too. And uh, the key here is to make sure it's wet at all times. You don't want uh, any part of this drying out. You don't want the clay drying out and you don't want anything around here drying out because that's when the clay starts uh, digging into your paint and it just starts scratching away. And plus, uh, when we're doing it, you want to just continuously every so often take the clay back and knead it again so that whatever debris are getting pulled out here when we're rubbing, uh, don't stay here and start scratching it. You just want to pull it out and kind of hide it into the clay and uh, get a new side, if that makes any sense. So let's get started. Just watch me. See all this black stuff coming out? This is what I'm talking about. You just want to press it into the clay so it's not touching our paint and get a fresh face like that and just keep on rough. And like I said, make sure it doesn't dry out. Also, uh, if you just saw, you can use clay bar on paint too. A lot of automotive detailers do use it on paint. It's completely safe as long as you keep everything wet. Uh, it's really good for removing all kinds of like sticky, hard to get off stuff. Like let's say tree sap or like uh, uh, bugs that like exploded at like high impact, right? Like their guts went everywhere and you just can't get the juices off no matter how hard you uh, scrub with the sponge. Uh, clay bar is perfect for that and it'll make it a breeze depending on how long it's been on your car. And uh, uh, this is also really good for getting in between all these little letterings here, like the hybrid sign or uh, like uh, the ES300 badge on the back. Uh, I already did it on this car when we first bought it like a month ago, but um, clay bar is just great. It's a great uh, detailing tool and it lets you get uh, inside all the little cracks and crevices and uh, clean it out. Now, uh, if you can see, it is dirty. Like I said, the car uh, hasn't been washed in a month, but the borders are completely clean now, right? And uh, despite the rest of the car being dirty, the edges are clean. And uh, I'll just dry it off real quick so you guys can see the final result. But really, that's it. Two more things I forgot to add in the video that I'm just going to uh, cut up and edit into the video at some point. Uh, if you're doing this and at any point you drop your clay onto your uh, uh, driveway, uh, please just throw away the whole piece and get a new piece. When you throw it down, this clay is so sticky, guys, it's going to pick up all kinds of debris, all kinds of little rocks in, uh, from your driveway, and uh, 
it's gonna get in there whether you see it or not and then when you go to uh, clean everything up it's just gonna scrape and scratch all of your clear coat and your nice paint and it's just it's not worth it clay, automotive clay is so cheap just please if you drop it throw it away and get a new piece and then on top of that if you don't want Meguiar's and you do just want to get the Amazon thing uh, guys all we need to do is keep it wet right we don't need uh, to keep ordering fancy detail bottles uh, I just have that because it came with the kit but once that runs out I'm just gonna keep spraying it with water you know just spray it with water and just clean it like that and that's perfectly okay you know so uh, you guys can do that too don't think you have to go out and get um, a fancy detail spray or anything but uh, yeah All right guys, so there you have it. Now, uh, like I said, this does help clean all the grime all around the edges, but if it's yellowing, it's not gonna really do anything about that. If it's yellowing, you're gonna have to uh, remove this and reapply uh, paint protection film at like a detail shop or like cut it up yourself. But uh, as far as cleaning the edges go, uh, hopefully I've demonstrated how great Clay Bar is and uh, hopefully I've helped you with your problem. Uh, if this helped you at all, please uh, give me a thumbs up. It means the world to me and it helps these videos spread. And uh, I hoped this video was helpful and I hope you guys found this entertaining. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Just watch me. How you been, man? Good, thanks.